How much does it cost to own a Canon Corsos in USD? Let's see, you're blocking. Thank you. Here. Good boy. What a good boy. Oh, yeah. All right. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Last week, Peter wants to know how much does it cost to own a Kanye Corso. Actually, I already have this video in mind. I just haven't got to it. So, thanks, Peter. You motivate me, push me to make this video, and I'm very glad. Um, first of all, you need a crate. Some people go with a smaller crate for crate training, then medium-sized crate, and last they move to a large crate. I don't think that's necessary, so I'm just gonna say one large crate like this, $200. If you're interested, I put the link down below. I made the video last week about what you need to prepare for your new puppy. I'm not gonna repeat every single detail, but let's just go through them really quickly. If you're interested in watching that video, check the link down below. You need a mattress. Check my video, I'll show you how you can buy a cheap mattress, but if you want a dog mattress for a large dog, you're looking at about $40 to $60. So let's say $60. Dog bowls, you need two of them. For a large dog bowl, you're looking at about $20. Stainless steel dog bowl will last forever. $20 each, one for water, one for food, together $40. You are gonna need a dog leash when you walk your dogs. One like this, about $20, again, lasts for a long time. If you want to use your leash, you also need a collar. Here I got a stainless steel collar. Again, $20, lasts forever. You are gonna need some brush, something like this, or something like this. I would say about $40 for this. Let's just say $40. You will need a toy. I recommend a strong, durable comb toy. $25. Shampoo, $15. Everything I told you was necessity, right? I don't think you can get any cheaper than that. You are looking at about $400 to $450. If you don't use a crate, you drop down to about $200 to $250. But I always recommend a crate. It's up to you. The next thing you need is fences and gates around your property. <laughs> You are looking at about $500 to $10,000 depending on what you need to build. So I can't put a price on that. That you need to find out for yourself. If you're living in a suburban area, I don't know how you can have a Kanye Corso without fences and gates. Now let's look at the cost of feeding these babies. If you were to feed your dog kibbles, I go with what the veterinarian recommend. It would be Science Diet or Royal Ken. I will have the links down below if you're interested to look at these products. It costs about $60 for a 35 pound bag for Hills Science Diet and $70 for 35 pound bag for Royal Cannon. So you're looking at about $2 per pound for these kibbles. And an adult Carne Corso, this baby here, he will eat about 1.8 pound per day. I would divide that into two meals though, not just one meal. It's a bit too much. You, you, you want to <laughs> prevent bloat, loading them with too much food at once. I will go with 0.9 pound per meal, yum, so 1.8 pound yum. per day. That will cost you about $3.60 per day. This is not the most expensive kibble, but it is, it is pretty good. You can buy some other brand. I'm not selling this. There's other brands you can buy. My vet recommended me to buy AAFCO certified kibbles. This means the kibbles are balanced. If you feed them kibbles, it will cost you $1,314. So about $1,300 per year on kibbles. You guys also know I recommend raw diet. Right, about raw diet, I'm going to tell you where I got my data from. This video actually started a bit late. Usually I like to post on Saturday. Now it's Sunday because I had to do some research in the US about the pricing. I've been asking questions about the cost of meat in America. So I went to my sister who lives in New Jersey and she sent me these photos of her chicken and beef in her fridge. It's really funny because I was asking for meat price in America and the package is Chinese all over it. So it's <laughs> I know where she's been shopping. And it even says Asian food. Um, I also asked uh, my friend from Sacramento 
and one of my fans, AJ, also in California. To answer your question, I went from the east to the west, west to the east, east to the west, west to the east. I come up with the average price for your meat cost. Chicken and beef price average times it by 4.4 pounds of food a day. So it's like, um, hang on a second. I basically, I average the cost of the beef, ground beef, because you're not going to feed your dog back steak or t-bone right just ground beef chicken based on chicken drumstick price uh you are looking about two dollar thirty per pound for raw of course you're gonna need organs like um green tribes liver sequential organs and so on so can i cross it out at about 4.4 pound per day which makes about ten dollar twelve cents per day right in one year you're gonna be spending three thousand six hundred ninety three however if, if you're able to get cheaper meat if you nearly half of the price of that, say if you get not human consumption grade, you get like a pet, pet grade. Uh, if you can drop the price down a bit, you might be able to drop one thousand dollars a year. But just to just to advise you on the safe side, you'll be you you'll be looking at spending about three thousand six hundred ninety three per year. Uh, thank you, um, Benji. Yo, Paul. Thank you. So that's how much it will cost you. You need a lot less kibble compared to raw meat. 1.8 pound of kibble per day versus 4.4 pound of raw meat per day because raw meat is 70% water. So you need a lot more volume when you feed raw compared to kibbles. When you get an eight weeks to 10 weeks old puppy home, you're gonna have to pay for its vaccination. So I would prepare between one to $300 depending on the vet you go to for each vaccination deworm, deflee. And also check your local council with the price for registration. Be sure you check it out because you might have to have your dog microchipped and registered every year with your council. All these costs I've given you so far will apply to any similar size breed. Let's say you are thinking about getting a Rottweiler, Dogo Argentino, or Bull Mastiff, roughly about 120 to 130 pound dog. All the costs I've given you would apply. Now let's talk about the price of a puppy. All right, for the price of the puppy, before I bought him, I made some inquiries. So I kind of know how much the cost of the puppy is, but just to answer your questions correctly, I've gone to Alex Chervin in High Power Kennels. Also, I've gone to my man in Hawaii, Chris. By the way, Chris, Chris Moon, he just started his YouTube channel, Kind of Corso Training Club of America. You should go and check him out because he's the kind of guy who likes to answer questions. So if you are into training carne corso, I have the link down below. You can check him out. And also, Alex in High Power Kennel just had a, a lot of really cute puppies. He, he never told me to advertise, but because I follow his social media, you should go and see those puppies, man. They are really, really nice puppies. Anyway, all the links will be down below if you want to check him out. A carne corso should cost you about 2000 to 3000 USD with papers. I don't talk about dogs without papers. Okay, we are talking about purebred carne corso here. 2000 to 3000. For most of you, I think you are looking for carne corso for pet. 2 to 3000 I think is reasonable. In summary, here's a question for you. Let's say a, a puppy will cost you 3000. The food for first year will cost you maybe 2 to 3000. So let's say 5 to 6000 dollars including the vet bill or the $500, $450 of gadgets you need. The question I have for you is, first year 6,000 and 3,000 a year to feed after that. Is it easy or can you barely make it? If it's easy for you, yep, it's residual income. The cost of owning a cutter course is not a problem. I, I think what I gave you is a pretty realistic price, right? If the, you can barely make it, unfortunately, I'm gonna say it's not just carne corso would be a burden for you. Any dog this size would be a burden for you. Because this one thing I haven't mentioned yet, unexpected vet bills. Now, the reason I say that is because I was unlucky. The first year I had him, the vet bill was more than $5,000 just the vet bill alone. Most of those costs were misdiagnosed by the vet. I'm not saying vet is bad, that's not, that's not what I'm saying. I've had dogs all my life, never had a problem. But just with him, there were multiple occasions <clears throat> the veterinarian made wrong diagnosis. It's, some of it is actually vlogged in my previous videos. Like he came in to the country with 
kennel cough. From the image of uh, x-ray, the vet confirmed he had mega esophagus. That was really expensive. And it's not just expensive on the vet bill. I had to come home five times a day, feed him five times a day to feed him in small portions. And each time it takes about half an hour to, to feed. So I had to come home from work every two hours to feed this boy. It had a serious impact on my business as well. Later on, I found out he doesn't have mega esophagus. He actually had a, had a kennel cough because he passed it to her. But it took me six months to confirm that. His elbow injury also cost me four digits, only to find out that the vet couldn't help him. Later on, I went to a Cairo, spent $50. In 10 minutes, he fixed him. So, bad luck, but like I said, things can happen. If five or six thousand, if six thousand dollars first year, three thousand dollars later on each year to keep a dog like that is a burden for you, I think it's a bit too much for you. If it's your residual income, you can spend here and there. Yep, kind of cross will make you very, very happy. I guess this concludes everything I need to say about the cost of owning a kind of cross. Now, this video was made because of one question. So, if you have any other questions, feel free to post your questions down below. Remember. Like, subscribe, share, comment. See you next time. I lost my... Uh... Oh my god, we need to... Pirates of Puppy, Raw Diet. Yeah, we need it. Okay, okay, right, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright. after that. Benji, yo, 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 come here. Benji, yo, come here. Benji, come, yo. Come, here. Benji, come here. Benji, sit. Benji, sit. Sit. Okay. Bye. Bye.